with me here. Better. But still needs a bit more love. I can salvage this beast. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. This thing seems pretty gunked up. I think I should move on to something else. Nothing doing. The distributor cap looks pretty gross. I need something small to scrape the gunk off the cap. I bet Dad would have liked the idea of me using his tools to fix a ride. This connection is pretty shaky. I could fix this battery post if I could get a good enough grip on it. like a deadly electric glove.
pretty loose. How can I tighten it? Much better. This thing is going to the fuck up. Looks like someone tried to patch this thing up sometime before I was born. At this point, I think that ancient duct tape is better than anything I can do. Better leave it be. Maybe. Hmm, what do I see? Oh, I know. When life gives you gunk, make, uh, art, I guess. Stan Stanwick here, and we've got a special treat for all you Sunday fun I can definitely out. see some problems. Live in Seder Studios. I just Skip need to match them to the right tool. Set. One of the Bay's hottest new bands. Say hi to the fans, Skip. Hi, fans. Nope. Now skip. Not gonna I help. I understand you work as a security guard at Black Bull Academy. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that's, that's true. Keeping the kitties safe by day and melting their faces off by night. That the plan, Skip? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Fantastic. We're about to play a brand new track from his head. And if you haven't heard these guys yet... What I want you to do is crank that stereo up as loud as it goes. If anyone complains, what do you tell him, Skip? That should uh, help keep shit this had distributed. Rules? Nailed it. Well, fuck. Back from whence you came. Spark plugs busted. Carbon deposits. Of course.
Please. I need you. Junkyard Queen, where are you at? Hey. Holy shit. Your hair. It's so... <laughs> Badass. <laughs> I was gonna say hot. But, yeah. Badass, too. That shirt looks awesome, too. I might add. You like anything that starts fire. Hey, not sure if you saw, but someone moved your truck. No way. Should we check it out? Hey, Price. Nice wheels. You're early, Frank. What's the occasion? It's his fucking bar mitzvah. Frank here's becoming a man. Aren't you, big guy? What's he doing here? What do you think? We're not dealing with a couple of dime bags anymore, Chloe. Where's the money? Seriously, Frank? If you think I would pocket a thousand bucks of your money, you're even dumber than you look. I don't think she has it. Oh? It's cute how she acts like you two are friends. <laughs> you heard what happened to Drew. Right? Maybe try keeping that in mind when you talk to me. Don't fucking touch her. Why is it that chicks think it's okay to hit me? But if I lay a single finger on them, suddenly, it's a whole other thing. Frank says you were asking about a client of his. That true? Yeah, it's true. I don't see why you should give a shit. You don't? Maybe I'll show you. See, you two Nancy Drews decided it would be a good idea to call your drug dealer and ask about his business. I didn't go to a fancy academy, but that doesn't strike me as smart. Maybe it was this man's sunny disposition that confused you, but he's got a whole other side to him that I don't think you'd like. Should we let them see it? We're just talking here. <sighs> okay. 
Then let's talk. I want to know, right now, why you give a shit about this woman. This is between us and Frank. It's none of your fucking business. Problem is, you made it my business. And your tough girl shit is starting to get on my nerves. Look, none of this matters. All we care about is that you stop asking questions. Got it? No. Tell me where she is now, Rachel. Wait a minute. <laughs> No way. What the fuck is your pro Rachel? As in Rachel Amber? <laughs> that makes so much sense. This is James Amber's fucking kid. Damon, your dad's a real piece of shit, you know. So? We don't have anything to do with him. Right. Here's what happens next. Come on, man. They're just kids. No, they're not. This one is the fucking DA's daughter. And right now, she's going to fill me in on what her daddy is up to and how he's connected to that whore everyone's asking about. Damon, calm down. We're still talking. Everything's still cool. No need to get crazy. Uh, ah! <coughs> oh, you fucking bitch! Rachel is going to be all right. The knife damaged her brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery, and now she's resting. Chloe, what happened?
I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing of course. Is that how it became violent? When he found out Rachel was the DA's daughter, he, he wanted information about you. And how did he know that I'm her father? I, I don't know. Maybe he's seen her before. What happened next? Damon had a knife out. We all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. I'll see if I can pull some strings with Ray. Maybe get you back into Blackwell. What if Rachel still wants to meet Sarah? After all this, I'm hoping she'll finally see reason. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have... Um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph, how's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay, sure, definitely. I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs. Come on. Not that I have any coins anyway. Oh man, jackpot.
20 more of those. Damn, are these all firefighters? Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died, and not a single one described how I felt. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up, and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. I can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh. That's weird. Oh, shit. I know those guys. Uh, this doesn't look like the maternity wing. Uh, there's a sign for the prenatal class. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're gonna be a good dad. <laughs> I guess I'm glad we stole their wine. One more hour of waiting, and I would have read that. Frank's business must be booming. Shit. I really hope he's okay. Sean Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. If I want to stay sane, I need to stay busy. All right then. Thank you. Hi, Mr. North. That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. Here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh? Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work, and it's all been pretty hard. Anyway, Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work out, then. Oh, no. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure Both of those boys have been acting a little... well... guilty lately. Yeah, I've, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried. I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. 
I, uh, don't really know any details. I do know that whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. They actually have helped me out. Money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. Hey! You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Drew. How's your knee doing? Do they think it's gonna heal? Uh, I'm not sure, actually. It's too early to tell. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. I figured it might fit with my new barbarian look. You know. A war paint? Awesome! Nerds. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No, not at all. If anything, I should have thought about what happened to you before getting Rachel involved. That's crazy. Fuck that guy. I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Ooh, I wanna eat that right now. Those must be from Steph's parents. An eight out of ten. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. I wonder if Drew will ever play again. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. Hey. Sorry for losing it there. It's nice of you to come by. Yeah, no problem. Easier than you coming to me. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of tired. Oh. Oh, right, right. I'll, um, I'll leave you alone. That'll be an interesting read.
All right. I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. Controlled. No, it's completely out. It extinguished itself. How could that be? Hell if I know. I'm so relieved that Rachel's awake. Hey. Chloe. I can't even express thank you so much. I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet... Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel, I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. 
he's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like, on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. And Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But... <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. But if she is, will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. I bet my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait, your hair, it's different. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I like it. It's, uh, it's nice. I like your shirt, too. I didn't know you were into dragons. Who the fuck isn't into dragons? A uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's for Drew. Were you, were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? I think she's keeping that private for now. She's okay, though. Well, that's good. God, I guess I'll stop by after I see Drew. She probably wants privacy. Oh. Right, of course. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. What? I don't even know what you mean. It's kind of weird that Rachel's being so private. Isn't it? No. It's really not. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, 
Don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously, something is going on. It's really... It's really not your business, Elliot. Okay. That's fair. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway. See you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. Hello? I need to search this office for any communication with Sarah that can help me find her. <laughs> it's the big one. James has a file on Frank. I'd love to read this. But I've got to focus on finding Rachel's mom. Best dad. <laughs> that stuff is all politics anyway. Hmm. The secret key. Now to find the secret lock. I feel like I've heard that name before. I guess getting your ass kissed comes with the DA territory. James sure keeps lots of files on people. <sighs> mm. 
Welcome to Shadyville. Sarah sent all these letters, and James never gave them to Rachel. Sarah in this letter doesn't seem anything at all like the person James told us about last night.
So, this looks like Sarah stopped cashing the checks James sent her. Guess he forgot to mention that during his story last night. to know who James is talking to on the secret phone of his. It could be about Sarah. James is working with Damon Merrick? This is insane. What were they talking about? Is the girl Damon's talking about Sarah? Whatever is going on, I need to see if Damon knows where Sarah is. But how do I get him to tell me? What do I say? Hope James actually has this evidence. Don't think Damon will tell me where Sarah is. Unless I send him a picture. Even if James is trying to protect Rachel from her mother, this seems like a pretty terrible way to act. This must be what Damon was talking about. Shit. Which of these is Damon talking about? I could... Huh. If TV has taught me anything, 
these babies will be swimming in DNA. Could this be the evidence? Damon and Knives seem like a solid bet. Did Damon really shoot someone? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Arcadia Bay's least wanted. If I can figure out how. How do I destroy a glove? Maybe I can burn it somehow. Oof. Better not touch that again. Him. I hope James has something here to tell me who Damon's informant is. So I need to find which of Damon's guys has been snitching? I should search around the office to see if there's any info to help me out. Okay. If I'm going to accuse one of these guys, I'd better be sure I'm right. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. Could this douchebag be the snitch Damon's talking about?
This is that freak from the mill. Wonder what Damon would think of his very cooperative comment. Okay, there's no way that Frank is snitching on Damon. But I love learning about his badass loitering charge. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. This guy let me into the mill. Cool dude. I totally knew this guy was a criminal when I stole from him. I agree to aid the courts on future cases. That could be seen as a little snitchy. Payment? Fuck. Here's hoping James already has Damon's money. <sighs> but where would it be? I wonder if this has anything to do with Damon's stash. <sighs> Holy shit. Fuck, that's Sarah. And she's at the mill. What is he doing to her? Shit. Does James even know what he's doing? Okay. I still have time. Damon's waiting for his money, right? He wouldn't do anything to her. Yet. Fuck. I need to get there fast. Chloe? Elliot? 
Hey! Elliot, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? This is Rachel's house, right? Did he really just follow me here? Did you... Did you follow me from the hospital? I did. I'm worried about you. I'm fine. You're the one acting crazy. You shouldn't be here. Chloe, what is... Ah. Elliot, put that down. You have no idea what you're dealing with. And you do? Chloe, God, what have you gotten yourself into? You... You wouldn't understand. Give me a chance. What the hell are you doing? Honestly, Elliot, you, you can judge me all you want, but it's pretty fucked up that you're here right now, and I don't have time for this. When? What? When will you have time? For me. You have all the time in the world for... for Rachel. I'm so sick of you not seeing who Rachel really is. When will you realize what she's doing to you? Elliot, just take a step back. No. You need to listen to me. What has your relationship with her gotten you? You... you don't know what you're talking about. First night you hang out, what happens? You end up in a fight. You don't know what you're talking about. Rachel saved my ass. I'm sure that's how it seemed to you. Stop... Stop suggesting that she's somehow bad The for... next day she convinces you to skip school. Magically, she barely gets in trouble. And you get expelled. <sighs> I took the fall because I wanted to. Rachel tried to protect me. Yet somehow, it all worked out for her in the end, as usual. You don't understand. You weren't there. Was she protecting you when she made you take part in a play you didn't want to be in? S seriously, man. You, you need to shut the fuck up before- I've been quiet long enough. Look, Rachel is an amazing actress. And I don't mean on stage, she's fake. You're real. And I hate to see her manipulate you like this. Elliot, I, I promise, n no one is manipulating me. No? Just look where you are now. A high school dropout, hanging out with criminals and breaking into houses. It's crazy. It just as easily could have been you in that hospital today. If that ever happened... Dude, you, you know you sound a little stalkerish right now. Stalking is defined as repeated unwanted interactions. How long have my interactions been unwanted? Elliot. I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now, for once. Look, I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Can't you just listen to me? Elliot's gone full-blown crazy. I... I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me! We have a lot to talk about. 
And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. All right, Elliot. You want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. You mean here? Specifically? Like, uh, the Amber House? I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is at great risk. Thank you, Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. You're right. This whole thing has been a cry for help. Help me. Help me now. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I feel trapped. Boxed in. I desperately want to leave this situation. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this. And I want you to know that I will always be there for you. No matter what. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, shit, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Thank you, Elliot. You're a great friend. destruction all because Rachel got angry at her dad who's been lying to her all her life and he's still lying hey being a dad's tough that doesn't justify what he's done I'm just saying I'd probably do anything to keep you safe Hey, Dad? Yeah? Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for Mom wasn't a piece of crap. I mean, like, really lied about... 
something that might hurt me to know. What do you think? I suppose everyone lies about big things. I mean, the stuff mom doesn't know about me. So you probably lied too. Would you love me less? I guess it depends on what it was. That's the trouble, sweetheart. The truth's risky. And the idea of you loving me even a little less? I don't think I'd ever want to risk that. Are you really ready to hear the answer to your question? Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? I wish you told me when you could have. You don't like the perfect relationship we had? I wish you'd lived long enough for us to fuck it up. No way. My ride, my tunes. Seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Hella crazy. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. I like the company. Besides, you don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Shit. Is that blood? Frank? Frank! This is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Where the hell is Sarah? Frank's couch is toast. Tell me what. 
to do. Don't tell me what to do. Glad to see the bomb made it. No more beer. No more time. I've got to keep moving. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand? Why does your he... Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to... Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you? How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just, just let her go, and I won't say- <sighs> No! Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. <sighs> what the fuck? You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with- Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah? 
Chloe Price. Where's Frank? Our demon. Your friend, Frank, took care of Damon. You don't need to worry about them right now. Sit. Sarah, are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for- Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with- <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. That's bullshit, Sarah. You're not listening. Rachel deserves to know what happened to you. No, she doesn't. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James who... is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. Don't you think the truth matters more? The truth? What's so great about the truth, Chloe? Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. And what do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father. Two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I... I, I don't know anything about addiction, but I know what it's like to be needed by someone. It gives you strength you never knew you had. Rachel needs you. Rachel needs her family. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home. Given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. 
She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole and... And Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve... It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can, without me. Wait! Don't go, Sarah. I'm done here. Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. 
Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something.